Hey, this is Morgan with Dubin Tech. Today in this video, we're going to be looking at one of these Unify G3 Flexes. We're going to be looking at making it a standalone camera that you can view over RTSP or uh, the streaming protocol that they use. So the web interface is nice, but a lot of times it adds a lot of delay to it. So let's look at doing it without that. So we're going to start off by opening up our web browser. And this little Cisco router that I have over here defaults to 192.168.1.1 as its IP address. What we're going to do is we're going to log into it. Password is admin. No username. And I'm going to look for the client list. I'm going to go to status. Local network. And the client list. And here I see the G3 Flex. I'm going to grab that IP address and go to it. The default login for factory Ubiquiti cameras is UBNT. UBNT. So once I'm logged in the camera, it's going to have me go through the camera setup. We're going to hit continue with the camera setup. We're going to accept the agreement. We want it to be a standalone camera. And now this doesn't always save for some reason, but we'll go ahead and tell it we want it to be standalone. Continue. And see, it just did it there. So if you do that, even though you specify standalone, sometimes there's a little glitch there that keeps it from doing that. But go ahead and click standalone again, and it will have to reboot. So we'll say, okay. And we'll let that camera restart. While it's restarting, we're going to download VLC. The reason I use VLC is because it's free, and most of the time I already have it on most of my PCs anyway for other uses. So I'm going to go to VLC, and we're going to download VLC. And once it downloads, we're going to install it, and it's the program that we will use to view the RTSP stream. <clears throat> okay, so it's done downloading. We're going to click that. Yes, we want to install. We're going to take, I think, all the defaults. Okay, next, 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 install. While that's installing, I'm going to close out of that and go back to the camera and get logged back in. UBNT. And this is where I want to mention that you don't want to leave these passwords and things like this default on your camera, especially if you're leaving it standalone. Otherwise, people could, if they got on your network, could log into that camera and view it as long as they knew the password to it. So I'd suggest going to the system tab and changing the username and password for the camera. But I'm not going to do that for this demonstration. It's not necessary. I'm going to take the window and I'm going to split it in half. I'm going to hit finish on VLC here. And let VLC fill the other half of the screen. I'm going to grab this RSTP, RTSP stream URL. You can change the stream. We're going to try it at full resolution first. And I'm going to do three quarters bit rate. And that changes... Um, you know, its effectiveness on working on faster or slower networks. So um, we're going to make the username and password for this test and test. Save changes. And we're going to go over to VLC and we're going to hit media and open a network stream. And you can see where I pasted this in here before. I'm going to make sure it's the same and repaste. And I'm going to hit play. And it's going to prompt you for the password, test, test, okay. And here we are, have a full 1080p resolution stream. Um, let's go up to the top of this web page here. So, it's hard to tell. Um, but the stream is actually a whole lot nicer. You know, I've got a small little network here set up, and it's not very fast. Um, it's just with an older router. But the stream can really provide a whole lot cleaner looking video and a whole lot more um, high speed. 
especially if you're willing to drop the resolution or anything like that. Say if you were viewing several of these on a Raspberry Pi, you'd probably have to drop the resolution down to at least medium and maybe even low with, uh, with a lower bit rate. But that's how you set up a RTSP stream to just a standalone Ubiquiti camera, and it'll work for all of the Ubiquiti series and uh, you know a lot of other cameras that also support the RTSP protocol. So this is Morgan with Deven Tech. We'll see you again in the next video.